This video is on solving quadratics by, we're going to solve by quadratic formula. So just so you know, solving by the quadratic formula, the quadratic formula when we get to it is one of the best ones to know for quadratics because the quadratic formula can be used, can be used to solve any quadratic equation. So it does not matter what type of quadratic it is, um, if it can be solved by factoring, by square roots, uh, by completing the square, by using your calculator, you can actually use quadratic formula to solve any quadratic equation regardless of if it will be real or imaginary, rational, irrational, it does not matter. Quadratic formula can be used for any quadratic equation. So it's basically the golden rule of quadratics. You still need to make sure you understand what the directions say to, to make sure you can you use the correct method. But you can always check your answers by using the quadratic formula because quadratic formula is used, can be used for any type of quadratics. So the first thing is we actually need to derive the quadratic formula because th the reason why the quadratic formula works is because it is basically completing the square on a quadratic equation. And in a previous video you've seen completing the square actually converts a quadratic into vertex form and we know that all quadratics have to have a vertex. When we're solving we're trying to find the x-intercepts but we also know that not all quadratics have x-intercepts. They don't actually cross the x-axis, but they will have solutions because they could be real or imaginary. So quadratic formula can still give us the imaginary solutions. So we want to derive it by completing the square on a quadratic equation. So we're going to, when we complete the square, we're actually going to also then solve it, which I know uh, complete, solving by completing the square is slightly different than just completing the square, but we're going to still understand how to complete the square on this problem. So this is the standard form quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c. There are no numbers in here um, but we will end up forming the quadratic formula. So this is a quadratic equation. We are going to derive the quadratic formula. These are two different words meaning two different things. So by completing the square, the first thing you have to do is make sure it's 1 is equal to 0, but we have to get rid of our a term. Whatever your a is, you have to divide by, by that value. So over here, I'm going to write, we're going to divide by a, because that is the first the thing in front. So we're going to divide all of these by a, everything by a. So we're going to end up with x squared plus b over a x plus c over a is equal to zero. Then we want to get our constant to the other side and because we're going to be creating a perfect square trinomial we want to end up with a brand new c value, a brand new constant. So we're going to subtract the ca over. So we're going to have x squared plus b over a x plus we're going to have that box, if we remember completing the square, we're going to have a, a box here, is equal to, we're going to subtract this c over a to the other side, but because we added a box to this side, we have to add that same box to the right hand side. Now if we remember from completing the square to fill in this box, we have to take our half of b and square it. So our b term here, I'm going to write off to the side, our b term is b over a, and we're going to take half of it, then we have to square it. So we need to simplify this value right here. So b over a divided by 2 is really b over a times 1 half. When you divide by a fraction, this is really divide by 2 over 1, you're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So this is b over a times 1 half, which is b over 2a and then we're going to square that. So this becomes, when you square it, you have to square the entire numerator and then the entire denominator, which will become b squared over 2a squared is 4a squared. And that's what we're putting into both of these sets. 
So I'm going to rewrite this as we know this is going to be x squared plus b over a x plus b squared over 4a squared is equal to negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared. This part will factor because it, we created a perfect square trinomial and then we have to combine these. Now because they're fractions we have to have common denominators. So let's go ahead and factor this side. When we factor this side it will become parentheses squared. Factors of, so we take the square root of x squared which is x. The square root of b squared over 4a squared which actually same thing from here which is just b over 2a and it's going to be a plus sign in the middle because that is a positive, is equal to. Now we have to actually combine these, so I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to write it in, a pen, in pencil. I'm going to have, I'm just going to show my work over here. This is negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared. Now to combine fractions, you have to have common denominators. Well, on here, I have one of the a's from here. So I need another one of the a's, and I also need the 4. So I really have to multiply this first part, both the numerator and denominator. I have one of the a's. I need the other a, but I also need the 4. So I have to multiply this by 4a and multiply this by 4a. So we will have, this is negative time negative c times 4a. So if I just rewrite that, that's negative 4ac, because that's 4 times a times negative times c. Negative 4ac over, this is 4a times a, which is 4a squared, plus, I did not have to fix this size, so this is b squared over 4a squared. Now I can combine these, so when I write that, I don't really want the negative 4ac part first because that's negative, but b squared is positive. So when I combine these, I'm going to have the same denominator. So it'll be 4a squared because I'm combining my uh, fractions. When you add fractions, you keep the denominator as it is. And I'm going to combine the numerator. Since these don't have any like terms, I'm going to keep that positive b squared first. And then I have that minus 4ac because those do not, you can't actually combine those into something new. Now, we have completed the square so far. Now normally we would, to put it back in a vertex form, we will take this entire set and move it over, but instead, this now looks like just solving by square roots. I actually just want to keep going, and I want to get x by itself, because the quadratic formula is used to solve. So I want to solve this for x. Now solving means I would have to, by square roots, just do sad map. There's nothing added or subtracted to the other side. There's nothing multiplied or divided to the other side. So I just want to go ahead and get rid of my exponent. So to get rid of the exponent, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So when I take the square root of this side, I know I'm going to be left with x plus b over 2a, because it gets rid of the parentheses, is equal to, I'm, I know we have to put the plus or minus, because I'm taking the square root, I have the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and then that's over the 4a squared. Now I want to simplify this if I can. So this side I'm going to keep as it is, x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus. Now I take the square root of the numerator if it's possible. Because there are two terms, I cannot, because there's a subtraction in there, I cannot take the square root of the numerator. Even though b squared is a perfect square, it is subtracted by 4ac, I have to keep this inside of a square root because there's subtraction. If I look at the denominator, I have just one term. This is a monomial, and these are both perfect squares, meaning I can 
take the square root of that value. So the square root has to stay on the numerator. So I have the square root of b squared minus 4ac, but I can take the square root of 4a squared. So the square root is only on the numerator. So my denominator becomes a brand new term, brand new monomial without the square root symbol. The square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of a squared is a. So I've actually simplified this side over here because I could, I am allowed to take the square root of the denominator because it was a monomial. I cannot take the square root of the numerator because it is a binomial. Now to continue, I still got to get x by itself. So I want to subtract that b over 2a to the other side. So I'm going to have x equals... Now, if we remember back from solving by square roots, whatever we move over now, we have to put in front of that plus or minus. So we're going to subtract that b over 2a. Then we're going to have that plus or minus. Then we're going to keep this part over here, the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And then this is over 2a. Now, before I say that I'm done, I want to notice that these are fractions, and we have the same denominator on both of them. Since we have the same denominator, we can actually combine our fractions. If we're just adding or subtracting our fractions, the denominator will stay the same. So I know we're going to have x equals, our denominator will just be 2a, because that is the denominator of both of these two fractions. Now I just combine my numerators. Because this negative b is not in a radical, I can't actually combine it with the b squared, so I have to keep them separated up top. So I'm going to have that negative b, then it's going to be plus or minus because I'm adding and I'm also subtracting. And I have my square root of b squared minus 4ac. So this is the quadratic formula x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. You have to make sure you say the all over because both parts of these were over 2a. So if we just say over, you're only saying that the square root part is over 2a, but that's not true. All, all parts of this, all of the numerator is over 2a. So this is the quadratic formula. We have just derived the quadratic formula by completing the square on the quadratic equation. So the quadratic formula, again, is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a.